Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another Oblivion tutorial. And in this one, I'm actually going to tell you guys how to make a magic archer type character. I don't know if you want to call it magical arrow, magical archer, you know, any and all of the above. But basically, a battle mage that uses a bow instead of, you know, um, the standard sword or mace and magic. We're actually going to start with the skills for this one because the skills are kind of more complicated. Is you're going to put on Marksman and Light Armor to start, and then Alteration, Destruction, and Restoration, then Acrobatics, and Armor. Now, we'll explain why later. But for your two skills, you're actually going to do Agility and Intelligence. And for your um, specialization, you want to pick Stealth because... Or either stealth or magic, because <clears throat> you have three from the stealth and three from the magic. So really, whatever you want with that, stealth or magic. For your birth sign or star sign, I don't even know what it's called. I just call it the birth sign. The birth sign, you can either pick the thief, which gives you the attribute buffs for agility and speed, because you're going to need a little bit of speed for this. And you know, the bonus luck is, of course, very good. Or if you want to focus a lot on magic, you can pick something like the mage or even the apprentice. This this is the one time I will say, well, probably not the one time, but one of the times I will say the apprentice is very good for this build. Because even though you have the 100 magic and the 100 weakness, you have alteration on your side. Alteration allows you to cast those spells that will make it so, you know, you're not going to have so much weakness. You could protect, I don't even know if you can do a protect above 100%, but if you can, help protect 200% magic. If you could end up doing that, I don't even know if you can, because I've never tried it. If you end up doing that, no, it's only 100%, I just did the math. Uh, if you do that, you know, it, it counteracts those effects. Plus, since you're going to be using light armor, you're going to have gauntlets and helmets along with the normal pieces of clothing and, you know, your rings and your amulet. So you're going to have a lot of enchantment room. Now, I highly suggest with this build that you join the Mages Guild to make your custom spells because this class does not have a melee weapon. You can still pick one if you want, but it's not going to level you up, which is where destruction comes in. You have your arrows, you have your range spells, but you also have your melee spells with destruction. You know, your touch, your fire, frost, touch, stuff like that. I believe poison actually goes, or weakness to poison goes under restoration, I believe. I don't know where weakness... I, it goes under destruction, I believe. One of those two. Either way, you got the weakness to poison. Alteration, of course, for more defense. Now, with this character, like an, any archer that, you know, I like to play as... I don't like to play as archers, but if I do play as an archer, I pick acrobatics. The reason why is archers need to be able to jump onto stuff and shoot people from there. Now, you also have the option of jumping onto stuff and fireballing people or, you know, doing something like that. That works really well, too. If you pick a Wood Elf character for this class, and you have the Thief, your character's going to be really good at sneaking for not having sneak as a major skill. If you want to go the route of also including sneak in this build, you can get rid of armor, because no matter what, you're going to repair your stuff anyways, right? Or, you know, so you have, like, you can buff your sneak up very high with all these agility buffs and stuff. So if you want to include sneak pick that wood elf, replace armor with sneak. You're, you're just going to be able to sneak around everywhere. I personally hate sneaking around. The only time I like sneak is really when you're stealing things from houses. But, you know, Oblivion with the way it works, being a thief and stealing things isn't very hard to do. So, you know, it's a sneak to me is a useless skill. Make sure that if you don't pick the apprentice, you get a fortify magic spell or carry fortify magic potions with you. You are going to need a lot of magic to make this character work. The mix of arrows and alteration, restoration. Restoration, you can use that to buff up your acrobatics or speed if you need to, in case you need to get out of a sticky situation. You don't need magic for that. You're going to need magic for healing. If you pick the apprentice, you're going to need even more magic to cast all your protect spells from different types of magical attacks. And of course, your melee attacks are pure magic based with this character. I mean, you could melee, you know, barrel stuff people with the bow, but it really doesn't work well. So this character, 
even though I said all those things, it still leaves room for creativity. You know, if you want to add the sneak, you can. If instead of being the thief, you can be the apprentice. If you wanted, you know, if you wanted to be less magic focused but still have magic, pick the mage. If you don't feel comfortable with the with the apprentice and the weaknesses it comes with, pick the mage. Especially if you're a noob. Especially, what I recommend is, if you're getting into magic, start with destruction, restoration, and alteration. And if you're really new to magic, maybe get rid of one. You know, if you're just learning it and add the mage in, because the mage get, just gives you the 50 point buff, it's super simple, not complicated. But guys, that's it for this build. If you play with this build, you can tell me how you like it. There's all sorts of different things you can do with this build. I mean, I said it was a magic archer, right? Destruction, Restoration, and Alteration, you can get rid of one of those and replace it with a different magic ability. You could replace Armor with Sneak, turn yourself into a more of a stealth archer, or replace it with an even another magic spell, so you have four magic skills maybe add telekinesis in there or illusion or you could go with some mysticism even more mysticism for like detect life or something or you could go with illusion just for invisibility that'd be kind of cool too but guys that's it for this video thank you for watching if you enjoyed you can tell me that in the comments below as well i'm pacific casual gamer i suck just as bad as you do at video games and i'll see you in the next episode stream vlog or steam it post of whatever i decide to make